Hey everyone. Uh, that's right, we're back with another video, but I feel like it's a very appropriate matter for me to come out with this and to apologize for a recent wrongdoing that I just did. I accidentally became famous on TikTok. It, it, it just kind of happened. Like, I really wasn't expecting this video of mine to go viral. But apparently it did. If anything, I now have more followers on TikTok than I've ever had on YouTube itself. Hell, I've never even reached the thousand K milestone on here. But there, of course, there's a lot more blocks. But no one's going to remove them. And you know what? I just want to get that out of the way and hurry us up into getting straight into the video and yes we are back for another final update uh I'm, I'm just making this on the ground we have a couple albums today we got exactly four now obviously you all know how i do this oh uh, i gotta get this guy out of the way if we're to listen to new stuff so anyway we got four albums three of them were from the place that i usually get albums uh Ever one's a Target uh, LP that I bought. And now, I feel like the Target one is going to be the weakest album that I got out of all the other albums. But, you know, we just got to go ahead and see it for ourselves. Uh, first album. Oh, God. Uh, I had old beat stuck in the back of my mouth. Uh, I just got it out. Uh, I'm disgusting. So, first album, I figured we'd just start with release date on each album. First up, we got Leakin Park's Minutes to Midnight. Uh, I thought this was a good idea to get, you know? Like, I'm told Leakin Park is supposed to have another album coming out. Even though the death of their lead singer is probably inevitable, but hey, they had tons of demos and finished songs they never probably released. The recent song that they put out was a finished song from, I forget which album, from that one era in music, but you know, I thought, I thought this was a great idea. It has what I've done on there. I figured it was also a better idea to get it because of the meme. You know, <laughs> you've all seen that meme. Uh, it's 2007. All right, your favorite movie ended and it's 2007, it's Lincoln Park. This also comes with a cool little lyric poster. So you can read all the lyrics along. I like that. So, uh, to be honest, I thought this was going to be like a, like, I don't know what this is going to be like. <laughs> I'm just going into this straight. Now, this one's a typical black print, but I do, oh, God, I did not like that. When I opened this up yesterday, this was, the sleeves were hard to get it through. It's like fully imprinted. Now, again. Like I said, this isn't uh, out of the ordinary, but I love the center. I love the center. It shows uh, great colors and uh, design that they chose. So uh, let's go ahead and go into our deeper depression marks in our minds with Lincoln Park, shall we? don't exactly love it like hardcore fans like don't really love it 
They like one more light a whole lot more or hybrid theory. But for anyone that comes to this, I feel like this is the most underrated of most Linkin Park albums. Like, of course, based on whatever people would say, it becomes trash after this one. But I don't know. I hear people saying they change their sound. Oh, why they do that? Oh, I hate when people do that. Well, bitch, shut up. How are we supposed to experiment? How are we supposed to know we're going to grow as an artist? Lil Yachty experimented. He did that. He ended up doing that. People love that. You could also love this. Are you also getting the echo of me hearing things? Of me yelling at things? Anyway, uh, this album's not that bad. Uh, again, underrated in what I would say. But this album isn't for hardcore fans. I feel like this is for newcomers. Me, as a newcomer, I liked it. So, I feel like it would be better off for me saying that this album should get like a eight points. Oh God, if I had the, you know, actually, yes. 8.3 out of 10. And we could go move on to the rest in our new category. This one was the most expensive of them all. Jermaine Cole, baby! Jermaine Cole! That's right, Jermaine Cole! J. Cole, motherfucker! Uh, I spent $41 on this. Now, so far, uh, this is a single LP. It's got lyrics and lots of artwork on the left side than the right. I guess easier for us to read. Uh, yeah, there's not really much to do up here. You got your sleeve right there. 40. J. Cole, you're kind of fucking robbing me, Brett. It has the. It has the same artwork on both sides. On. Not. The sleeve doesn't have the same artwork, but the. But you can see the same artwork on both the album, on the vinyl, and on the sleeve. If you look very closely. J. Cole fucking robbed me, bruh. There's nothing to really do with this. But, you gotta love J. Cole. Lots of good albums. Lots of great songs. But, I think what would really make him want to be a better artist is collab with Kendrick Lamar, you useless son of a bitch. We need it. We've asked for it. We prayed for it. We suck dick around the corner for $20. I'm sorry. That's like a meme I just saw on TikTok. I don't remember what exactly it was, but it was like going around the corner. They brought $20. Okay, I'm going to put some J. Cole on now. Off season. Let's work. Hey, plotting my escape. This game riding niggas fake. Got a couple M's hiding in the safe. Imagination turn a Honda in a rave. I was doing. So here's what I think of this album. Uh, it's worth $41. That's it. <laughs> yes. Again, I spent $41 on this. Is this worth that much? It shouldn't be. But the experience? Probably. I mean, this isn't J. Cole's best album. I mean, I have Forest Hills Drive in my collection over there. And obviously, I would much rather hear that on repeat. But... This album isn't this, like, really, really bad or anything. It has fun moments. It has some good flows versus production at times. But J. Cole is basically at the point where he seems to be trying so hard to be something else. 
I mean, he does manage to change it up a notch each album. Most of us will go with it. Some of us won't. But this album, it's still pretty good. I wouldn't give it a strong rating. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one like a 7.5 out of 10. And we can go ahead with our second to last album. Uh, this one's, I think most of you will be disappointed on why I bought this one. Intergalactic. Kid Cudi's album for his movie. But I'll be fair with you. I think this is like... This... Well... This is the third most expensive album I have in this roster. <laughs> this cost me... Uh... God, how much? 29 to 30 dollars? I literally bought this a month ago at Target. I was thinking about doing a video on it, but it wouldn't really matter if it was just the one album. I literally have the one video where it was just the one album, and I think it's my worst video. <laughs> so, this album, it, it's actually kind of cool for a Target release. Mine's pink. My first pink vinyl. And it has a cute little heart in the center. Cute little heart in the center. Now, even though this is only $30, Cuddy put a lot of detail into it. And, I mean, track list with the type of style that the movie was doing. And if you look close inside of this, you actually get scenes from the movie and the songs that were used in them. It's actually really cool. I like that. I really like that. Uh, to be honest, I think the movie is a lot better than the soundtrack. But let's say if you were watching the movie, the songs do tend to blend in a lot. So you don't really get mad at it. So why don't we go ahead and listen to some cutty bitches. Stay off the weed! While I cough off this blood, I sit back in the cut. All my niggas riding with me, no excuses to stun. And we fill up the cup. Hey, since she ready to play, it's all a game, it's all a game, and I'm doing my thing. More rage, more rage, black portion of rain. Someone stop me, bitch, get off me, man. My okay, so I'm assuming this is like my seventh to eighth time hearing this album. Now, obviously, there's some low standards here. Like, to be honest, when this movie slash well for the soundtrack when the movie and the soundtrack came out at the same time i was like oh i am so hyped for this if kid cuddy is actually working on something then you know it's got to be good right but this doesn't really feel like true kid cuddy this feels like sold out kim cut kid cuddy who the fuck is Kim Cuddy? <laughs> so, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's also not, like, the worst. He has some albums that are a lot more bad than this. Like, The Man on the Moon 3 is not the perfect album Kid Cuddy would do for a comeback, but he tried. It has good songs on there. It's not, like, better than the first Man on the Moon. But... It's not like Intergalactic is Man on the Moon either. Like, he's taking a different approach. He's di He did a movie. He also did the soundtrack. He... Besides, okay? Who besides? Don't act like this is the worst album to come out last year. There are a lot of other albums that came out last year that are absolutely awful. I'll say this is underrated. 
So to give it the rating that I'm about to give it, I feel like I don't want to give it anything like really that bad. I'm going to go and give it like a 6 out of 10. No need for decimals. No need for anything else. Just a standard 6 out of 10. And we can get on to our final album. Hope you guys are ready. Cracker Island, bitch. I also really wasn't expecting this album to come out like same day as like <laughs> anything else. I mean, I actually seen some TikToks where it's like this store showed it's like new inventory and it was like, oh my God, we got the new gorillas in state. Honestly, I actually kind of like this one. Uh, the lighting kind of ruins it, but if you can see Murdoch just standing right there in the middle of, of this church, then yeah, that's some funny shit. Uh, this one comes with, I saw this yesterday. <laughs> I saw this yesterday and I was opening it. It's a two-sided poster, but I'm assuming this is the front. <laughs> oh my god, that is, oh. <laughs> Murdoch went X Games mode. And then we get the other side, and it's like them talking about static channel. I like both sides, but if we were to be honest, I think Murdoch would have to go right here. But then again, it's kind of blocking Tyler's view. So I think my best bet is to, I think, move the kids poster up a bit and Flower Boy lyric board down a bit more. And I could do the sideways. Obviously, it's not going to be the best to, like, keep it over Murdoch as he's the new cult leader. But, I don't know. This is all I could really do for what I have. So... Yeah, the poster's cool. But, uh, then we get to the sleeve. It's pink. I honestly thought I was getting, like, a special one. But I ended up just getting the black print. But it doesn't mean it's awful. Now, I like... I like the fun center. Obviously, and that looks like the mouth has a glory hole on it. But, look, they tried. Alright, they tried. And besides, uh, I, I always love it when gorillas are trying their hardest. I specifically made a review for when this came out, and I was like, oh my god, this album is awesome. Shut the hell up, you dumbass bots. No one cares about your opinion. You are literally generated to hate. So, I don't know. This is going to be like my first re-listen to the entire album since I generally heard it the entirety on the night it came out but yeah let's get into some uh i'm trying to get ah i'm trying to get a good stance oh god there's no there's nothing okay i'm just gonna let let's get into let's get into gorillas on cracker island it was born to the collective of the dawn They were planting seeds at night To grow a made up paradise Okay, so Like I said earlier I was like When people were Making reviews for this The night it came out, they are like This is awful Ass Mid This is complete unsymbolical uh, but it's not that bad okay I get a lot of artists don't really seem to try to like upstand their best albums like they don't try to work hard like they did that one time but look I get it this isn't 
plastic beach. This isn't Demon Days. This isn't Song Machine. But hey, they worked hard. Okay? Yes, it's a pop album. But come on, who doesn't? I see what you guys all listen to based on all the times I look at the Billboard charts. It's mostly rap and a bit of R&B and country. But come on. At least try. I mean, come on. Just try it. If this isn't good for, like, hardcore fans, then it's good for new fans. I like Minutes to Midnight is. Obviously, I feel like this will be, like, more appreciated, like, a year or two from now. So... I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and say that based on the original review that I gave for this, it did kind of degrade itself a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and give this album a solid 7. 7 out of 10. And that's about it for today. Well, guys, that was the final review. I'm going to go ahead and say I spent $100 on these albums, all in total. And so if you enjoyed it, just hit that like button. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. Don't be afraid to comment. Come on, I want to know what you guys like. I want to review the stuff that you guys talk about. It shouldn't be that hard. Right? So, that's all I really have to say.